it's Thursday in Tryon, North Carolina, and uh, it is a gorgeous day. It started out raining, but uh, the rain cleared away. We were able to go over to the Tryon Equestrian Center uh, and watch some horse jo jumping contests. Uh, uh, one of the contests, $34,000 prize money. Uh, several of the other contests going on were novice and beginners, but uh, phen phenomenal. And you saw a few pictures uh, coming into this of uh, those horse jumping uh, at Tryon Equestrian Center. If you've never been, let me highly suggest it to you. They now have very adequate restaurants and very adequate accommodations. They have cabins that you can rent. Uh, and next year they'll have uh, a first-class five-star hotel as well as a lesser price hotel. So uh, incredible place to go and visit, if, particularly if you enjoy watching beautiful horses. Uh, we had horses there today from several countries, including Russia, and uh, it was quite interesting. So hope that you have a chance to see that sometime. Just outside of Tryon by about 10 miles, uh, just a beautiful place. I want to talk to you from the book of James, chapter 1, verses 19 and 20. This you know, my beloved brethren, but everyone must be quick to hear, slow to speak, and slow to anger. Now the three really do go together. He goes on in verse 20 and he says, For, ang for the angry man does not achieve the righteousness of God. Uh, because we are slow to hear sometimes, we get angry uh, and sometimes when we speak too fast we not only get angry but sometimes we anger others uh, and he goes on and says for angry man does not achieve the righteousness of God a number of years ago uh, someone was speaking on the subject of anger on uh, speaking gossip various subjects and he gave an acrostic I want to share that acrostic with you today. So if you're watching this video, you may want to hit the pause button for a minute, get a paper and pencil, and make some notes of this acrostic. The word that makes the acrostic is THINK, T-H-I-N-K. The T, first of all, is to stop and think, is it true? That's quick to hear not only quick to hear what was said, but quick to evaluate what was said. Quick to hear. T stands for, is it true? The H is, is it helpful? Uh, that is, when I repeat this story, after I've heard, would it be wise for me to say something about it or to tell, it, tell the story again? Is it helpful? The I stands for, is it inspiring? Uh, sometimes something may be helpful, but it may not be very inspiring. Sometimes uh, it may be helpful, but not received by the hearer. And even though it may be true, it may not be helpful, and it certainly may not be inspiring. The N stands for necessary. Is it necessary? Do I really need to repeat this? Some things just don't need to be repeated. And finally, the K stands for kind. Is it kind? Is it something that I would want somebody else saying about me or telling somebody else that I had said? Uh, is it kind? You see, if we're quick to hear, we can evaluate whether or not it's true. We can evaluate whether or not it's helpful. We can evaluate whether or not it's inspiring. And when we're slow to speak, we can decide whether or not it's necessary to repeat it. And we can also evaluate whether it's kind to repeat it. Now, here's the exercise I'd like to give you and the reason I ask you to get a paper and pencil. As you write this acrostic, T for true, H for helpful, I for inspiring, N for necessary, and K for kind. I want you to ask yourself these questions. On a scale of one to five, when I speak, how often do I think? First of all, 
How often do I think about it being true on a scale of one to five? How often do I think about uh, that uh, one being almost never and five being a very seldom give any thought that is I, I don't even think about whether it's true I just go ahead and spout it out the age helpful do I consider whether or not it's really helpful and one would mean that you think about it being helpful all the time and five you almost never consider whether or not it's helpful I for inspiring Again, one means I try to think about how inspiring it might be, and I almost never think about how inspiring it might be, number five. And is it necessary? Do I consider that often, whether or not this is really necessary, or do I seldom consider if it's necessary? And finally, kind. Do I really think and consider whether or not it's kind? Do I do that all the time or do I almost never do that? Grade yourself. Grade yourself honestly. <laughs> and then if you want a real good checkup, ask somebody that knows you really well, your mate, your children, or somebody that's close to you all the time. Ask them to rate how you speak. Do you think before you speak? Do you think about the truthfulness, the helpfulness, the inspiring, the necessary, and the kindness of it. That's your thought for the day. God bless you and have a great day.